since we got here, two little kids that have been like rushed to the hospital. And there are no taxes nearby, so I'm yeah. not gonna leave. Not worth it. Kuala Lumpur, the capital of Malaysia. But why does it feel so much like India and China and Turkey? Why are there so many shoes? And why is this guy following us? We're about to find out. Let's explore Kuala Lumpur. After an hour long car ride from the airport, which is way longer than we expected yeah. Kuala Lumpur's airport to be, we're here in the city center, right outside of the infamous Padronas Towers at our Airbnb. Have to say, already impressed with KL oh, so I far. A lot, yeah. Yeah, like this Airbnb is 57 US dollars per night. As you can see, super spacious, yeah. beautiful views. But we're not here for the hotel, right? We're here for the city. So today we're gonna to go to as many parts of this city as possible, giving you our first impressions. And ultimately, if Kuala Lumpur is worth visiting, is it worth the hype? Uh, is it dangerous, right? All those questions that yeah. you have, we also have. Holding nothing back. Giving our honest first impressions of the city. And now we head to our first destination, Batu Caves. <laughs> see we finally made it to the heart of the actual Batu Caves. So it's about a 20 to 40 minute drive from the city center of yes. Kuala Lumpur or KL. Depending and, on traffic, yeah. Yeah, for sure. For us, because we left so early, we were able to get here in like 20 minutes, which is super fast. Yeah. And once you get dropped off the entrance, basically, obviously what Batu Caves is most known for is that beautiful rainbow staircase. But obviously then, right, it's named Batu Caves. <laughs> this is the actual cave system you see here. And also behind, which is super impressive, massive. Yeah. And the cave itself is so beautiful. The limestones with the green is amazing. And it's funny because I uh, was just telling some that they just painted the stairs, the rainbow in 2018. So it hasn't been that long ago, but that's when it went viral. Obviously exactly. the caves have been here much longer. Women, I mean, obviously this is a religious um, temple. So women need to cover their knees. I thought you had to cover the shoulders as well, but as you can just see here, you can just bring, you know, like a scarf or something and then put it around, or they sell it here as well if you want. I will say one of the negative sides is there's a lot of trash. Yes, a it is a little bit rough litter. in that regard, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, but like really beautiful painted, obviously not just the staircase, but the temples here, uh, you know, the monkeys running around, yeah. like the beautiful kind of greenery in the mountainside. It's a very, very cool place, super interesting. Yes, very glad we came. Came. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent, hundred percent, and it's free to come, yeah. which is really cool. I don't know how long they're going to do that though for tourists. If you're like yeah. for tourists, they're going to start charging. <laughs> uh, but I'm really thankful that we're able to come and experience this because this is this Very is one cool. of the coolest experiences yeah. in Southeast Asia. Period. And I'm really glad that we came. But this is the first of many exciting stops to come. So let's go. <laughs> Just finished an amazing free tour here at the yeah. Wilaya Mosque, which is one of the more iconic mosques here in Kuala Lumpur. And the biggest in Kuala Lumpur. And the biggest mosque, yeah. yeah. And obviously, as you saw, stunning, beautiful. beautiful, incorporates a lot of different kind of architecture from mosques in Egypt, in Morocco, in Turkey, yeah. in uh, Iran, and of course here in Malaysia. Yeah, so it definitely gave us a throwback to our time in Turkey. If yes, you watched our video. It reminded us a lot of Turkey. As you kind of notice here in Kuala Lumpur and Malaysia, Islam is the majority religion. Obviously yes. it's very mixed, but it is kind of the biggest here. So you'll see like quite a few mosques, a lot of people wearing hijabs, right? So it's 
very good. It's crazy kind of going from Batu yeah. to here. Yeah. Like a little bit more noisy, just totally just different so vibe. Yeah. And not that far away from each other. It's right. just crazy. Yeah. So but love the tour. As you said, free. Yeah. You get you get these like robes and yeah, it feels, <laughs> Gotta see it everything. feels great. You get the full experience. The tour was amazing. Our tour guide Aznita was super knowledgeable. Yes. And overall highly, highly recommend coming. Hundred percent recommend. Yeah, and at the end donations are optional, but they don't yeah. push you at all. They're super no. welcoming, it's super peaceful. Yeah. Super hot now. And, Very cool. Yeah, but not hungry. <laughs> yeah, super hungry, so let's go find some food. in this area and over and over all of the restaurants seem to be from majority Muslim countries meaning like Iraqi, Uzbek, Turkish, Syrian and Chinese food but a very special type of Chinese so clearly as you kind of saw from the mosque right Islam has had a huge impact here in Kuala Lumpur uh, not just on the religion but the architecture the culture and obviously the cuisine because I've never seen a diversity like it is here in terms of cuisine it looks awesome and what we have here like I said is northern Chinese cuisine uh, so kind of like this mix which is really interesting we have some beef noodles here some beef dumplings and some hand pulled beef noodle soup yeah which so far everything smells and looks so good got a couple drinks some lychee tea we're super hungry so let's dig in And big portions require a big spoon. Uh, so it looks like, yeah, we're gonna try to get a, oh man. I can't even fit all this in my mouth. I'm gonna try to take a bite of some of these uh, beef noodles here. All right, here we go. Mm. The noodles are still actually hotter than the beef is, so we got a lot of that heat kind of coming in. And it's obviously a little bit spicy, so I got hit with that, but a little bit chewy. It takes me a little bit, but it is flavored super well. It's tender. Really good. Really good. I give this a 10 out of 10. This came to a total of 118 ringgit, which comes to about 28 US dollars total for everything, which is so worth it. And yeah, I've, I've been picking up on the vibe here. Honestly, I think that a huge part of the culture here in Kuala Lumpur revolves around food and we're not mad about it. <laughs> so good. And now to our next destination. Thank you so much. Now we are at KL Forest Eco Park, which is where you can find the suspensions bridges right here. And this is actually the last rainforest in downtown Kuala Lumpur. It was 40 ringgit per person. So that's about $10 to get in. And I'm super excited to explore and see what the park yeah, is let's like. Walk around. for the money no because yeah if it was like two bucks yeah it'd be worth it yeah. for sure but we're already leaving we just came here it was basically these yeah these uh bridges like four or five five four, of them yeah. yeah i'll say like five bridges you go down and then you walk the way out so it was like you're on the bridges then you're off and it's <laughs> over and there's this really iconic photo online where you see like this person you know on the bridge there's the tower there's the city yeah so it looks like you know you get really beautiful views but i think there's a lot of overgrowth yes to where like a lot of the views have been kind of crowded out yeah definitely. so yeah, i will say it's quite peaceful there's not a yeah. lot of people here at all so if you want some Secru yeah, it's secluded. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. If it was like five bucks, two bucks, it'd be worth yeah. it. But like to go out of your way and it's then so pay small. 10 bucks to do something so short, in my opinion, not really worth it. But yeah, now 
off to the next spot. Hindu temple, a Muslim mosque. We passed by a couple churches and we've now completed our pilgrimage here at this ancient Buddhist temple on the outskirts of Kuala Lumpur, which is called the Hao Temple. Built in 1989. Ooh, uh, ancient. <laughs> yeah, but still, it is gorgeous. Basically, you kind of drive up this hill, you get dropped off, and then uh, the temple obviously is beautiful and is yeah. lined with hundreds of Chinese sky lanterns that are amazing, super peaceful. Yeah, there's barely anyone here. I'm shocked if this yeah. isn't packed because this is super beautiful. Yeah, and and speaking of peaceful, like I've been noticing all of Kuala Lumpur is very peaceful and quiet. I expect it to be chaotic, like super busy, the traffic to be awful, but it hasn't been like, Not even yesterday we were driving from the airport and we were like shocked that we were downtown because it was just so quiet. Even traffic wasn't that bad at all. No, I'm really, and I'm also super impressed. I've noticed a lot of very modern, well-built like buildings, like all throughout, very creative. Yeah. Um, especially like condo areas, kind of like where we're staying um, with, you know, pool, with sauna and gym, a bunch of shopping malls, like nice yeah. shopping malls and really nice grocery stores. Yeah. Very it was almost, area. It was almost like it was like built for digital nomads. It's yeah. a, like I was talking about like, yeah, we totally would live here for a time, like for months and months, we yeah. could absolutely stay here. And I kind of wish that we were staying here for a longer period than where we are in Phuket, because we like this way more yeah, than Phuket in I Thailand. Like, yeah, I like it so far a lot. But I mean, I'm loving the stops that we're, that we're going today. Very impressed so far, we're liking it a lot. And this, I don't know if we said, this is free to enter. So we're just gonna relax here for a little bit longer, maybe stay for sunset, and then go to a very special place for dinner. minutes and Ali and I have been waiting here in the gazebo started to rain a little bit uh, trying to get a grab which is basically like the uber here in Malaysia and some other Southeast Asian countries and yeah still uh, no one accepting and there are no taxis nearby so I'm yeah. not gonna leave yeah so we'll see one eternity later. Update, we found uh, these three friends kind of talking and asked, hey, how are you guys getting into KL? They're like, oh, we brought a car. You guys want to come with us? We're like, of course. There they are. They're already <laughs> heading out. They're like, yeah, come with us. We're leaving now. So uh, yeah, look at the temple at night. Beautiful. Bye, guys. Thank Bye. you so, thank you. so much. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Really thank appreciate you, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We just got dropped off by our new friends, Justin, Eric, and Jace. Yeah. They awesome. were so nice. Yeah, they just love KL and Malaysia even more. Even more, Even yeah. despite the terrible traffic. And that they brought us here to the famous Jalan Alor, the street food that is super famous in the Bukit Bintang area. And oh my gosh, we're so hungry. It's so busy it's right now. It smells amazing. It's so we walked many. past a few stands. Yeah. Like all the different kinds of smell. Like a, yeah. I don't know, man. I can't even like gar ginger, garlic, like oil, and so many different fresh smells. Fresh juices and durian and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Awesome. So many people and it's yeah. a little bit chaotic, which is crazy because we were just saying that it was so quiet. But this is the place to go for nightlife, clearly. Yeah. So we're excited to start trying yeah. some food. Man, it's been a great freaking day. Yeah. Uh, but it's not over yet, so let's go. <laughs> Some the First time trying frog. If the French like it, then well, bottoms up. We went from scorpion in Chiang Mai to, to this. So I think it's an upgrade. Hmm. That is weird. 
mostly tastes like chicken, but it's like chicken mixed with like a white fish. Kind of some of the mushiness of like a white fish with chicken. That's like the best way I can describe it, but um, it's actually pretty good. There's literally, since we got here, two little kids that have been like rushed to the hospital. Yeah, it was just someone's, yeah. you see that? Just now? In the stroller, yeah, there's someone, some mom just came um, with her kid. It's like, hey, where's the nearest hospital? And the guy started telling her, can I walk there? Left, like as soon as we got here, another kid, a kid was being taken. Okay. Yeah, it was get, being taken. So like two kids within 45 minutes. Yeah, that's, that's a little, yeah, just like, I mean, I know it's super random, but like, yeah. I mean, yeah I, be careful, yeah. <laughs> Chicken with some rice, cucumbers. I don't know. Is this corn? Peanuts. I think it's peanuts. Mm, peanuts, you're right. Yeah. Eggs and obviously the secret sauce. So, moment of truth. I'm gonna take a big old bite of this chicken first. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Papa. See you. <laughs> with the Malaysian flag colors, which is super cool. I don't really know yeah. when it happens, but it looks like it happens like every once in a while. It's not a holiday or yeah, anything. Yeah, and it's not every day that it, they get colorful like that, as far as we know, but, um, but it's super special. I love it, it looks so cool. Beautiful and like, man, it's been an awesome day. Yeah. I will say, first impressions, Kuala Lumpur, underhyped, dramatically. One of the best things about it, food. Um, also, I think it's, it's really similar with Thailand and Bali, it, and even maybe more so in, in some regards, very well designed for tourists. I think with all the different immigrants and countries that are represented here, yes. it makes it a much easier place for a foreigner, even if you're from Europe or North America, right, somewhere far from Southeast Asia, to, to get along. It's, I've had, we, well, I at least have experienced like no issue, you know, people yeah. seem super nice and yeah. overall just a really like a great city not just to visit but potentially if you're a digital nomad like us to live for a period of time yeah. uh, it's yeah. great and uh, what i'll add too is that i'm trying to remember where i had this idea from but i definitely got an impression that it was going to be more maybe sketchy in some areas yes. that there was going to be scams and things like that and we didn't really um like experience that i mean right now <laughs> where we are it was like the most where people were like trying to ask you all the time people want photos people around you as you can hear so it's a little bit chaotic but it's not sketchy like i thought it was it's not dangerous as i thought it was gonna be yeah. at least this has not been our experience so i'm really pleasantly surprised yeah for sure it didn't feel like maybe in some areas a little bit sketchy but not it's more just being in a different place that you're yes. completely new to not that like oh that, that looks dangerous like there's someone following you you know which just happened to me in other countries like the united states for example so yeah it's like I don't know, I think we pretty much covered it though, but yeah, like, uh, impressed. First impressions impressed. are impressed. Yeah, uh, definitely, definitely suppressed, uh, surpassed, surpassed my expectations. And 100%. one of my favorite things was actually the culture shock in a really good way. Like, you yeah. see so much going on, so many different cultures in so many different ways. Obviously, in the cuisine, as we've mentioned before, but also the architecture, just people going around, the languages, the school like I don't know just 
a culture shock in a really good way. Yeah, really if cool. you're not really sure what country to visit, come to Kuala Lumpur and you can visit a bunch yeah. at once, right? You get a little bit of India, you get a little bit of different parts of like the Muslim world and obviously Malaysia and it's- China as well. Yeah, and... definitely a special place for sure. Yeah. And if you like this video, then you'll love this first impression video of this city here on the screen. And as always, we loved having you along with us and look forward to having you on many more adventures. Until then, bye. bye.